Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright. Today I'm here to look at the Create Fast Mission tool that comes with DCS World. Um, for the most part, if you use it the way it is intended, it's useless. And I'll show you a few reasons why. So I'm going to go in here and Create Fast Mission. Here you can choose the aircraft that you want. I'm going to go F-18, I'm going to go Blue Team, I'm going to start Airborne, I'm going to do Difficulty Easy, Persian Golf, Summer, Clear. I'm going to start time at 1600. If I hit fly right now, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to start in the air and I'm not going to have any weapons. I don't know why this create, fashion mission, create Fast Mission Generator is broken like this, but that's usually what ends up happening. So I'm going to go to Advanced Mode. Now that I'm in Advanced Mode, it did save some of the settings that I was playing with from before. So what I like to do is on the blue side is minimize some of what I have to equalize this because what ends up happening is is if you choose attack planes and fighters these guys usually get out here and kill the red guys before you get there. Uh, I'm also going to choose where I want to start. I'm going to start that mission close to uh, right down here to uh, Dubai. I'm going to hit generate mission based on these parameters that I've set up. So like I said I like minimum, 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 no AAA, no SAMs, no minimum vehicles to deal with on the ground and then for my side I took took minimum attack planes, no fighters, minimum helicopters, no AAA, but SAMs, and some vehicles. And I have one wingman set up here. So I'm going to generate this mission. It's going to give me this. Now, at this point you would think, oh, should be pretty safe just to hit fly now, right? Nope, don't do it. Because you're still going to end up in the air with no ordnance. So at this point, you use the edit mission. What this is to me, this tool, the create fast mission, should be nothing more than a front end to create a generic scenario with that now you go into the mission editor and tweak. So this is the scenario it has created for me. And um, as you see, everything is probably within a, what, 20 to 30 mile radius and the shit's going to hit the fan just instantly. So if I go in here and I go save as, I'm going to pick Fast Test 3 as the mission, and I'll show you what we got now. So we're going to hit fly, we're going to hit start, we're going to start out in the air, and everything is going to be ready to go. I turn my labels off, I hit active pause by accident. See? I have no ordnance. I'm a sitting duck. This is doing me absolutely no good. Pointless. And then everything's just going to shoot me out of the sky. And everything's really close. So I'm going to jump back. I'm going to hit quit. I'm going to go back to the mission editor. I'm going to go into my plane now, which is way over here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to the ordnance page. And look! I have nothing. So I'm going to pick air to air with fuel. I'm going to go forward one to my wingman and pick air to air with fuel for him. I'm going to pick OK. I'm going to hit save. Now, I could start this way, but what I'm going to do is a little different. At this point, I can make this mission my own. And everything is pretty close together, and the shit's going to hit the fan really quick here this way. So what I want to do is I want to take this guy, I want to click him, I want to grab him and pull him back some. That way he doesn't end up in the thick of things so quick. And I also want to find... Where are my other threats? Oh, they're all going to take off from this air base, it looks like. Or are they already in flight? Fly over point. Okay, these MiG-29s are already in flight, so I'm going to take them and I'm going to pull them far back because that is way too close. Shit's going to hit the fan way too quick this way. And I'm not going to worry about those waypoints of theirs right there at the moment. I'm just going to pull these guys back because, again, I don't want things to happen that quick. But again, you can tweak this however you want. You can go in here and you can change the ordinance as well. What's really weird is it keeps calling it an A4E, so I don't know what the deal is with that and why it's doing that. But it is doing that is what I'm noticing more than anything right now. So, 
I've moved them back a little bit. Kind of give me a little bit of breathing room here. Maybe even further than that. That's way too close still. What I also want to do is I want to drop a carrier in here. So I don't want to take off from the air like that. I want to have some fun. So let's go in here and let's find USA. Let's find the Stennis. And let's drop him in the water right there. I'm going to use this little thing to turn him in the right direction. Now, I'm going to right click away. I'm going to grab my plane and I'm going to pull him here. And I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to pick take off from runway. Boom. And it reset me on the deck here. So at this point, I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit fly mission. Now this is where it gets a little tricky sometimes. Looks like I'm ready to go here. The F-18 is a little more forgiving than the uh, F-14 when it comes to taking off. So I'm just going to push it forward and hopefully they shoot me off the deck. Sometimes it doesn't work. Hey, it worked! Nice. There's a bug with the F-14 that's really annoying. So gear up, master arm on, flaps to auto. Now I have weapons. And I can do things. So now I've pretty much created a completely different mission scenario that's going to be more fun for me. And that's going to be something that, you know, I feel like I created. Not as much the generic scenario that it wants to give me. There's my wingman. There's those MiG-29s. There's the SU-25s. And again, I pulled them back, so it's going to take them a little bit to get there. But they'll be in range soon enough. But... That is the way to tweak things and create your own scenarios with the Create Fast Mission option. So again, back to the mission editor. Zoom back out. So the Fast Mission creator doesn't give you scenarios where you can start off from a carrier. And again, now at this point I can go in here and I can add or I can delete these things and change their parameters. Fast Mission Creator just creates a nice little generic mission scenario for you instead of having to place all these damn things and all these waypoints yourself. Um, it's a nice front end to give you something to work with. And that's what I like about it. And that's where I find it useful. Uh, outside of that, I do not find it useful. Um, it just doesn't work well as a create fast mission generator. It never did. But always go to advanced mode. Always pick where you want to go. And again, you can pick a different map do this whole little scenario you know this one not so much so I'm gonna do this again what am I gonna pick here uh, I'm gonna pick an F-16 I'm gonna hit generate again it should be pretty quick that time there we go now that you've loaded it once now I'm gonna hit fly I'm gonna hit start and I almost guarantee I'm going to start in the air and not have any ordnance. Because if it does start and I have ordnance, that's going to be a miracle. Because that almost never happens. Any day now. Let's see. Nothing. Clean. Ain't that some shit. So again, create fast mission, advanced mode, edit mission. That's the only way to go. If you use it that way and you use it as a tool to create scenarios for you, you'll always be happy with it. Uh, outside of that, it's really not worth a shit. So that's it, guys. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time.